Alright guys, this is Michael from Learn League. And now we're going to look at order of operations. And all this is, is it's the order in which we compute mathematical problems or expressions. So here we have a nice expression, 9 squared plus 15 divided by 5. And the big question that mathematicians always have is what order should we attack that problem? Should we do the 9 squared first? Should we add 9 plus 15 and then square it, those sorts of things. So they came up with an order, and there's a handy acronym for it, it's called PEMDAS. And you may have seen it before, it stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, which you'll notice are together, and addition and subtraction, which are also together. So let's start from the beginning, the P is parentheses, and what we have here is 5 outside of the parentheses 2 plus 1. So again, the expression PEMDAS tells us that we should do parentheses first. So we're going to do whatever's inside the parentheses first. So 2 plus 1 is 3, obviously. And now we have 5 outside of the parentheses 3. And that parentheses there, as you know, means multiplication. So then we do 5 times 3, 15. And that is the correct way to evaluate that expression. Okay, let's look at the E, exponents. We have 2 cubed, or 2 to the third power, plus 5. Well, before we can add anything, we have to take care of that exponent. So 2 to the third power is 8, and then it's just 8 plus 5, which is 13, just as you would know. Okay, now let's look at multiplication and division. Here we have 4 squared divided by 2 minus 1. Okay, how do we evaluate this? Well, first, obviously, we need to do the exponent. So 4 squared is 16. We're moving from left to right in our PEMDAS acronym. 4 squared is 16. Now we have 16 divided by 2 minus 1. We have to do the division first. If it had been multiplication, we would have done that. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. And now we do 8 minus 1. And we get 7. And that is the only way to evaluate this expression. If you started somewhere else, or if you went in a different order, you wouldn't get the same answer. OK, how about this? We have 5 plus 1 in parentheses divided by 3 times 2 in parentheses plus 1. Okay, so let's break this one down. First thing is we have to do what's inside the uh, parentheses first, because that's our first step. So we do 5 plus 1 on top, which is 6. And then on bottom, we have 3 times 2 in parentheses, so that's also 6. So look at that. We have 6 divided by 6 plus 1. So now we do our multiplication or division, because there aren't any exponents, and we see that 6 divided by 6 is actually 1. So this turns into, very simply, 1 plus 1, which when we get down to addition and subtraction, is our, which is our last step, that's all we have left to do. 1 plus 1, well that's 2. You know how to do that. So that complicated problem broke down to a very simple form of 1 plus 1. Pretty cool, huh? And that's it. Now you know how to do order of operations.